good Monday morning. Another sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Stick around for a few minutes. We want to just visit with you for a little while this morning. Here's the beginning of a brand new week. Hope you had a great day in the house of the Lord yesterday. The Lord, Lord always seems to meet with us at the Lighthouse Chapel. and We just enjoy the fellowship of the saints and being in the presence of the Lord, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit as he ministered to us as a congregation and as individuals as well. Well, I've got a lot of memories in my mind, of course. I look back across my, the years of my life, and many of the memories that stick out in my mind are those of school days. Uh, some of those memories are good, others not so good. And some of the not so good memories are when I was in what we called physical education or gym class. Now, I was never very athletic. I think I mentioned on one uh, devotional that we had that if we were choosing up to play football or baseball or basketball, whatever the occasion may be, we always had two popular guys that were the captains, and these two would uh, stand up in front of the group of, of, uh, of the class, and they'd begin to choose. And, of course, they knew who the good players were. And they always chose the good players, and it would come down to where just maybe me and one other was standing, and uh, whoever's turn it was to choose would look us over, and invariably I would be the last one standing, and I'd hear the words, all right, I guess I'll take hating. So, you know, that wasn't a good memory of this ed class. I never really did the team much good. And then when we had races, we'd line up, and the coach would blow the whistle, and that would mean that we were to go on your mark, get ready, set, and then the shrill whistle would sound, and we'd take off to up toward a finish line. Well, I was kind of a short, stubby, fat little kid, kind of the class nerd, and I wasn't a very fast runner. And, uh, you know, I never, never broke the string or never crossed the finish line first. Seemed like I was always kind of lagging behind. But, you know, even though I wasn't a winner in that race, I am running a race today that, by the help and the grace of God, I intend to be a winner. The Apostle Paul compared the Christian life to that of running the race. He said, you know, when we run a race, there's only one that's going to win, and that we're to run so that we would be the winner. But I've concluded that the only way that I cannot win is to drop out. As long as I run faithfully, as long as I do my best, as long as I keep pressing forward toward the finish line, I believe I'm going to be a winner in running the Christian race. Now, I know that uh, Paul said that to the Galatians, said, you did run well. What did hinder you? Well, there may be some hindrances as we run the race, but, you know, we don't want anything to discourage us to the point that we quit running. We don't want anything to deter us to the point that we quit running. And sometimes we may get a little bit discouraged, especially if it seem like that so many others are ahead of us. I never did like to look up and see nearly the whole class ahead of me in running the race, and yet that didn't make me drop out just because I was lagging behind a little bit. I know there are times that I'd get tired before I got to the finish line, and I might really be huffing and puffing by the time I crossed the finish line, but uh, I would finish. I would kind of make it to the end somehow, so discouragement or being kind of tired, it shouldn't keep us from continuing running the race. And I think about, you know, how there are times in my life that I do grow discouraged. I'm like everybody else. There's discouragement that comes my way. I'm like everybody else. I get a little bit tired once in a while. And, uh, you know, it seemed like that during those times the devil would tempt us and say, what's the use? You might just as well quit. But I know I'm running a race. I'm living the Christian life. I'm headed for the finish line. And as long as I keep running, it doesn't matter how many are ahead of me. doesn't matter who's passing me up. doesn't matter whether I'm last in the race. As long as I keep running, I'm going to be a winner. And I'm going to cross that finish line someday with the help and the grace of God. No matter what discouragement, no matter what fatigue, I intend to keep running. So let's run the race that is set before us. 
and this run that we might win. Heavenly Father, keep us running in this race that we call Christian living. No, Lord, that there are times that we do grow discouraged. There are times that we do become tired. But, Lord, may we never give up. May we just continue to run and do the very best that we can in running the race that is set before us. And, Lord, we pray your blessing upon us this day. Reach out to those that are hurting. Reach out to those with needs. Pray, Lord, that thou will just be with us and make us a blessing wherever we go. And we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, I encourage you, keep running, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.